Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review of the new Toy Story 4 Barbie. Now this doll is actually up for pre-order on Amazon, but I found her on eBay uh, from a seller and that's why I have her early. On Amazon she releases towards the end of April and the retail price is only $15.99. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I love the fact that Barbie is part of Disney and she's in Toy Story. So, of course, in Toy Story 3, she had a pretty big role. I don't think for Toy Story 4, she's going to have such a big role just because based on the trailers, Bo Peep is back, which is awesome. And they're kind of like out and about. So I don't think she's part of that, unfortunately. But she's definitely in it. And that is why we're getting a doll. Now, the only thing that I do want to point out is that in Toy Story 3, Barbie was wearing heels with her workout outfit and now she's wearing flats, you know, sneakers. So I'm assuming that in Toy Story 4, they changed her shoes because I just don't see why Barbie will give us such an accurate doll and yet, um, you know, change the shoes just because. So again, this doll is made by Barbie and the doll in Toy Story is originally inspired by Great Shape Barbie from the 80s. And so this is, you know, a new version of that that they used in Toy Story 3 and then now Toy Story 4. So I'm going to talk a little bit over this, but as you can see, this is the box. And yeah, I'm just super happy. I'm super happy that she's back. I love the fact that she's voiced by Jodie Benson, the voice of Ariel. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. As you can see here in the box, she looks so cute. Again, they finally used uh, the face mode that is accurate for um, the Toy Story doll, which is the superstar superstar face mode i believe i'm not a barbie expert by no means but i have been collecting a lot of barbies lately so there's that uh there's a picture of the barbie back here she looks awesome literally like she stepped right out of the movie so if you like go ahead and pause so you can read that it's pretty short and then down here we have images of some of the characters we can see buzz bo peep jesse uh rex the new um I forgot their names, Ducky, something, I don't know. <laughs> so let's just get her right out of the box. And here's Barbie out of the box and she looks so cute. I love this doll. I think it's like one of my favorite Barbies of all time now. <laughs> but um, as you can see, she can stand on her own and that's pretty cool because a stand is not included. So it's great that she can stand on her own. <laughs> now, when it comes to her face, I, you know, I love this face mode. Again, this is the superstar face mode. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like one of the first Barbie face modes ever. I'm not sure, but it's definitely the face they used in Toy Story or the face they were inspired for in Toy Story. So it's only accurate that they give us this face mode for the actual doll. Now, I think the Toy Story 2 doll, you know, the one that was, um, she was like a tour guide, right? That one, that one has this face mode as well. But I still think that this face mode is the most accurate just because of the paint job is very accurate to the character in the movie. She's just so cute. Look at her nose and her lips. I love her eyes, her eyebrows. I, I just think she's perfect. She's painted very well. I got so lucky that I didn't get like wonky eyes or anything like that. As you can see here next to the actual uh, promo shot from Toy Story, she pretty much looks the same. Like it's literally the same. <laughs> now, when it comes to the hair, um, what I did here is I just twist, twist? Is that how you call it? I don't know. You just kind of twirl her hair to make it kind of like cute because when it first came out of the box it was a little messy but to me i like this now that i twist it up a little bit she has a little rubber band and it's pink which is perfect now the bangs on my doll are not perfect they're a little bit too far out and i'm not a fan of that but i think with a little bit of heat or something you can kind of bring it down i'm okay with them because i'm gonna get another one to keep in the box so she's fine like this for now and now let's take a look at barbie's outfit she's wearing her 80s inspired workout gear it's a sporty blue spandex unitard and leg warmers. Now, the actual outfit, the color is perfect. It's the perfect blue um, that we see in the movie. So I love that. That's great. Now, when it comes to Barbie bodies, I'm not too aware, but this one is from 2015, whatever that means to Barbie collectors. <laughs> I don't know what that means to me. I really I have no idea, but that's the kind of body that she has. Now, she also has this pink belt, which is iconic and I love it. It has a little clip right there and that's the reason why I'm not removing it because I'm afraid that, you know, I'm not gonna know how to put it back. I don't think you can put it back. I'm really not sure. 
Now the actual outfit is all one piece and you can just take that off if you needed to. The leg warmers are separate. They're not attached to the outfit. You can definitely take them off if you like to. And they are of course uh, leg warmers and they have colorful stripes, pink, yellow, and blue. So, so nice. Now, as I said earlier in the movie Toy Story 3, she has heels on. And now for Toy Story 4, she's wearing the sneakers, which I like them. I don't have anything against them. Oh, sorry. There you can see that she has flat feet and that is why she's able to stand on her own. So yeah, if they gave her sneakers, I'm guessing that they changed it up in Toy Story uh, 4, which I'm fine with. It doesn't really make sense that you have heels in a workout outfit anyways. So I guess that's probably why they did it. There you can see that if you remove the belt, you can remove the outfit very easily. And here is um, the articulation. So you can see that she has a lot of articulation. I think they said 11 points. And here you can see the new Toy Story 4 Barbie next to Toy Story 3. And as much as I love Toy Story 3, I think she's beautiful. Um, there you can see her hair is really accurate. Uh, when it comes to the outfit, they give her a metallic look. So it's more like a, a fancier version of her. And she does have the accessories, which is super cool too. Uh, however, if I had to pick, then of course the Toy Story 4 Barbie is more accurate. So, you know, there's a soft spot there, but I love both. And I love the fact that I actually have one from each of the movies. They also did dolls for Hawaiian vacation. It was like a little short where Ken and Barbie go on a vacation, you know, fake trip in the in Bonnie's room. It's just super cute. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this Barbie Toy Story collection, and I'm definitely going to get another one from Amazon to take out of the box. Again, guys, this doll is available. Um, the Toy Story 4 Barbie, <laughs> the other ones you would have to find on eBay, but Toy Story 4 Barbie is available on Amazon. She should ship at the end of April, and you can also find her in stores pretty soon. Again, thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you are as excited as I am for Toy Story 4. Thank you. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.